Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. I've made a new pick a card read for you. This time it's a full love tarot, a Celtic cross full spread for you about your love life, see what's going on. Now I've made three readings, it's a timeless reading, whenever you're getting it to, it's good. Each one of the readings has got a deeper dive to it, that's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of these readings, I'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. Now there's two ways in which to win a private reading with me every single month. The first way is by being a subscriber to my YouTube channel, clicking like on this video and then leaving a comment. You can do that on my many videos that I publish throughout the month, including the shorts, and that'll get your entries into that prize drawer. Um, the second way is by purchasing the deeper dives to these pick a card reads. Now the pick a card reads are timeless readings, so you can it's when you purchase them that matters rather than when it's published. So if you can f look through all the different pick a card reads that I've ever made on that playlist on my YouTube channel, if you like. Um, so good luck with winning those. All you need to do now is take your pick. Which one would you like? Would you like the crystal? Crystal is out with the Seven of Cups from the Lightseers Tarot. Would you like the flower and the flower, the spider lily with a couple of holes in it and it's got eyes, is out with the nine of voices. Oh no, the nine of voices from the muse tarot. Or would you like the spiky shell? Spiky shell is out with the death card. Death and rebirth. Wow. Powerful reading. Wow. Take your pick now. And don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new. Leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into that prize draw. And your timestamps to fast forward to your reading are down there in the comments and in the description box as well as the link for those deeper dive reads too. I do a today's tarot every single day of the year. Um, check that out on my YouTube channel. I also go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show coffee and cards. I'd give one question readings in there. You can book in for one of those on my website behealing.com. There's a link in the description box below and also one up there too. I do all the pre-book readings right at the start of the next live show. They send you the link to the replay so you don't need to be able to make it live if you can't make it or if you forget. Alternatively, find the next live show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. Come along live, you can book while I'm alive too. I also offer private readings from my website, BeHealing.com. If you want something in more detail and of course private, then you can book yourself in for one of those. There's various types. Find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. Well, crystal, flower or shell, take your pick now. I'll see you in your reading. So if you chose the crystal along with the Lightseer's Tarot, then this one's for you. Let's give you a full Celtic cross tarot spread for your love life and see what's going on. Now, as usual, crystals, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with this. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, or want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, I'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's get straight into your reading because your cards have flown out already and you've got four of them. So complicated reading. Things complicated at the moment. Crystals. You've got the Seven of Cups. This is about choice, confusion about choices. The Nine of Pentacles is about you being happy, single, really. The King of Swords. This is someone else's energy, someone that's very clear, someone that's a thinking kind of a person. It might be a good match on paper kind of thing. Uh, it could be a career kind of person, um, book smarts. Uh, uh, it could be someone that works in education or they're smart. It's a smart person. And the Six of Pentacles, they can reciprocate. So you might have a choice to make, right, between being remaining happy single or letting this person in. The King of Swords, there might be something about this person's energy, even though they're interesting, they're smart and all of that kind of thing. It might not be everything that you're looking forward, looking for in a partner, but anyway, let's see. So I feel like there's a bit of um, a dating, perhaps date this person vibe going on in this reading, but let's get deeper into it. So, some of you, I don't know, you might be being sat up with someone here, like your friends want to fix you up with this person and you're not so sure about them. It could be something like that. And you're telling your friends or your family that you're happy being single. It could be that. Or, or it could just be someone you're considering. Like, this person's interesting. Should I, go, should I go on a date with them or should I? 
there's a feeling like you you might know that they're not really right for you but should you date them anyway i don't know i think you might be with that seven of emotions card confused about choices is it okay if you just have something like or is that not what you want are you happy enough as you are you know single independent all of that kind of thing and happy in your life you know happy in your life to wait for the one that is it because you will know wow what is crossing you here how come you're getting so many cards out <laughs> you got the page of swords they've got their eye on you the five of swords and you're like oh it's causing you stress the world card it could be someone that's traveled and lovers okay so it could be someone that's traveled to your location they might only be there for a short time people might be saying why don't you go out with that one and you know and you, you might be considering being like is it okay just to be a lover with this one they've definitely got their eye on you but it's causing you stress so i don't know it just feels like it's not a hell yes it feels like this is not, not a hell yes and if it's not a hell yes then it's a no right anyway or, or perhaps this could be a connection that's not romantic it is a possibility, but I don't know. I think this person's got their eye on you as a lover. Is this someone that's traveled towards you as well? It feels to me if it's someone that's traveled towards you, it's someone that's heard about you through other people, family or friends or something like that. It feels like a setup. It feels like a blind date or perhaps not blind date, but that kind of thing. Hmm. If this isn't happening at the moment for you, it might happen shortly because <laughs> people might want to set you up with someone. You know, this weekend you might be out with friends or something and say, oh, have you met this person? That'd be great. And then you're considering going on a date with them. But I don't know. There's just a, there's a but. There's a but, I'm sure. How do things appear on the surface? So what's this looking like on the surface? King of Pentacles, very stable. They're ideal to be with. You know, it's good on paper. What's really behind that? What's really behind that? You know, sometimes I think when we're talking about relationships, the kind of person that you'd get together with for a stable life, perhaps to have a family with, that kind of thing, it's probably very different than when you're later on in life and you don't need to settle for those kind of things. I mean, you're not looking for that same kind of stability um, to, you know, to build a family with. It's, it's different. And other people still might have that in mind, but it's not what you're looking for anywhere, anymore. You might be um, of a certain age or, or point in your life where you want a love match, someone to proceed forward in life together. Not, not to build, you know, build a house and home with. You might want to do that, but family is different, right? Than someone perhaps to be on the personal growth path with, you know, it's a different kind of a personality, but those around you might be saying, might be judging this person based on the King of Swords, King of Pentacles, based on, you know, who you might like to settle down with if you were having a family. What's behind that King of Pentacles is the High Priestess. This is your energy and it's like, you know, you know, if it's not a hell yeah, it's, it should be a hell no, because you know, deep down, you know, you will recognize if it's a hell yeah. You will recognize if it's your true person, your true match. You'll feel it in their energy and it will be a hell yes for you. So or why are you even considering this person? To not be alone, just to, um, to go along with the wishes of everyone else, to make them comfortable so that you're not alone. The Nine of Pentacles is a good card, almost saying that you're happy to be alone. And if you're happy to be alone, what does it matter if other people aren't happy around you? Because <laughs> we do. Sometimes when we're happy alone, we make other people feel uncomfortable. Recent past energy. You got the Page of Pentacles. Someone made a small offer. It wasn't big enough for you, though. What else? You know, there could just be someone messaging you, Page of Pentacles. It's... It's not, it's not a big offer. It could be someone that started a conversation and they didn't keep it going. It's just, 
we know they're not very big offers. You can tell when someone's going to do that. You know, you start talking to somebody. They don't keep it going. They're not escalating yet. They're not wanting to go on a date or take you somewhere. And it's obvious. They fizzle out. And not the investment there. They could have been, but there wasn't. There's something about this reading where you've got to recognize it and start trusting that, that you will recognize the yes vibes with someone when it's a yes for you and trusting yourself on that. You need to trust yourself. So what's coming in near future energies for you? There we go. Eight of Swords. Feeling like you're trapped, like you're bound, like you, there's... You might be looking for a partner, but everyone that shows up and everyone that other people show to you, you're like, no, no, no. You might feel like you're trapped in that no situation and why is your person, your true person, not showing up? Right. Okay, what else is this reading about? It's about all of that. It's about you, like, confused about this decision to make. What else is this reading about? happy with yourself and where you're at then just keep on I would just keep on living life that's what I'm doing keep on enjoying myself and it, it would be like Brucey bonus cherry on top if someone showed up but if they don't I'm still happy I'm really happy in fact I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life this reading is also about three of pentacles plans okay and collaborations this person you know what it could be something else if you can Ward them off for the lovers thing because I do feel like that that they're coming at you wanting to be a lover. If you can draw boundaries up to that romance lovers kind of thing, there could be something in this person. Like it could be someone, you know, when like someone comes into your life and it's a good collaboration. They've got the information or the the resources or there's there's a, you know a similar interest and it's a good match on one level. It's doesn't feel like it's on a romantic level though. So only step into this if you know that your boundaries are good, if you can deal with someone, if you can go on a date with them and say, look, I wanted to get to know you, I feel something in this, but it's not romance for me. I'm sorry about that. It's not romance for me and it can't go there. You might want to be upfront with them at, at first as well. If you're feeling like there could be a connection on some level with this person, if you're up front with them like that, then you're not kind of leading them on, you know. You don't expect something from you like some people do. And they're getting to know your process. What are your fears? So yeah, I would only go ahead with this if it's if you've got really good boundaries for taking a risk on it. Okay. So yeah, you're fearful of taking a risk on this. I mean, I would be too, because I think this person is intent on you being a lover, so who needs like the test on their boundaries like that, do you know what I mean? It can be very wearing to have to put boundaries up to someone like that. Like I said, I would set it out beforehand, where you're at with it all. Two of Pentacles, these are your hopes. To weigh up your options, so making a, like, a considered decision, weighing up your options. Mm. Okay. I would say if, if romance is a part of it and this person wants to be a lover, even if you do set it straight at the start, this still might hold hope. You can't switch, they can't switch their feelings off like that, do you know what I mean? I've had this before. I've had like business connections before or people saying that they were interested in being a customer and then it turns out, no, there was a romantic interest for them and, and it's not for me. And it gets really messy. It gets really messy. So I would just be careful of these energies because even if you've got good boundaries, it, it might still be a brick wall. Do you know what I mean? It's it's on might not be able to handle it. We've got to choose what we'll get ourselves into, right? Some things, no matter how good your boundaries are and how you navigate it, you're still not going to get what you want out of them or what you don't want out of them. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's get your outcome cards out. So I'll be revealing the first outcome card from this series um, in 
this reading, but the rest of them, because I'm going to get a series of them out, like I said, to get the full picture. The rest of them I'll be delivering in that deeper dive read, in that extended read. In that reading, I'll also be getting cards out from these decks back here too to give you some guidance. And well, let's hope you've got someone else coming in as a little bit more suited to you as well. And if you do have someone showing up, get cards out for them. Perhaps we'll get cards out for the intentions of this one too. See what they've all got to say about themselves and see where you're headed. Because you are headed somewhere. I see that in your cards. And what next after that, please? Oh. <laughs> okay. I like this story. Tell us more. Another couple of cards out, please. What with that one? I think you've got two more people coming in in fact okay yes we do we have two people here and it's not the same person as this either so right <laughs> if you want to find out all about that you've got the first one here here they are king of cups someone that's got feelings for you someone that, that loves you it's not that person so you do have someone hot on their heels coming your way you're obviously very attractive right now because you've got you've got things coming your way <laughs> you've definitely got things coming your way here so the king of cups someone that's got feelings for you there's plenty more fish in the sea you don't need to go for this one i think this one is going to be very complicated even if you try and keep it at a, a lower of attraction kind of a level so there you go. That is what I've got for you. If it sounds like it is your story, could be a story, you want it to be a story, you want to know what these cards are and all the rest of it too. Let's get deeper into your situation. Then you might want to get that deeper dive. If you do, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you won't receive it. The email. It might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, your junk or your promotions folder. Check those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower and the shell. Click the crystal on a device that you can open PDFs with. And in that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. If you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, then just try it on a different device and it will. Well, there you go. That is what I've got for you. Um, don't forget to click like. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. Good luck. As we'll get in that deeper dive, that'll get you entered into the second draw too. So two chances to win. But if you're not coming with me to that deeper dive read, if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read for even more, then I will see you in there very shortly. If you chose the flower, then this one's for you. Flowers, let's give you a full Celtic cross tarot spread for your love life with the Muse Tarot here. Now, as usual, flowers, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, I'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's get straight into your readings because your cards are flying out and see what this reading is all about for your love life. You've got the star and the nine of voices. You are out currently about your wishes the star perhaps not feeling too hopeful and you might be feeling like your wishes are pie in the sky out of reach that kind of thing like it's not even possible you might think that you have set your sights too high or too specific and it's not even possible because nothing's showing up perhaps it could be that anyway it's causing anxiety for you well let's get to the bottom of this so what is hindering you what's the problem here what is the block what is standing in your way i, I need to take it all <laughs> i do but so in, in two sections here what's standing in your way these are your blocks we've got the wheel of fortune and the four of emotions so there's a bit of pessimism here um regret or the yeah, I mean, it says it all really with this four of emotions. She's got three cups in front of her, three options in front of her. And she's like, I don't want those ones, though. It's not right for me. The Wheel of Fortune is like the end of a chapter and start of a new chapter. So you've been there, you've done that. You've accepted what isn't right for you before and you've learned. And it's like, it's not good enough. I perhaps got to yourself to the point where you're saying, 
I'd rather be alone than be in a relationship that's not exactly what it is that I want. So that seems like it's a good place to me. There is a bit of despondency in it, though. There's a bit of like, perhaps you're cutting yourself off, you know, from what it is that you want. What else have we got here? We've got the chariot, the knight of inspiration, and the empress. Right. So, okay. The Knight of Inspiration, that's the Knight of Wands. That can be player energy. So you might be very attractive and, and people want to date you. People want to go out with you and all that kind of thing. But it's just kind of based on lust. It's not based on true connection, true potential, that kind of thing. And the Chariot, so you're pulled in two directions, the Empress, because you know what it is that you deserve. So this is coming up as stuff that's crossing you, but neither one of them, I would say, is a problem. I think it's right and I think it's just about you believing that if you're in two minds about this whether you're hindering yourself that shows that you've got a it shows that you're doing the right thing but you've got a disbelief that you're doing the right thing do you know what I mean it's like you're not fully convicted in it that 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 is going to get you what it is that you want so that's why the anxiety is there you've got a bit of anxiety saying um, am I setting the bound the boundaries the 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 restrictions so much that it's excluding everybody and there's anxiety about that right so there's it's just like a, a, a non-belief how do things look on the surface how do they appear on the surface eight of emotions like walking away from your happy happily ever after things that you've built up so you're getting pretty good at walking away even when something is built up now for some of you it could, you might think that you had your happily ever after in the past and you you let them go you walked away from it perhaps somebody it didn't work out with someone that you thought that you were building something with so yeah i feel like in the past you could have had a it, it was close but but not exactly it so there was someone in the past that you would have settled with but it didn't work out what's behind that is music of emotions this feeling still there the love is still there so you've got someone from the past that's kind of the best of everyone that you've been involved with or have met there's still a bit of feeling there on both sides a bit of connection there mm, interesting Okay, well, perhaps we'll get deeper into that relationship and what that's all about. That relationship from the past in the deeper dive. Recent past energies. What's been going on recently for you? Flowers? Anything? What has been going on? It's not that card, it's these. Five of Voices and the Nine of Inspiration. Okay, you've been healing yourself. Um, so the five of voices is battles. It's like um, this old battle again, the same one. You've been learning from that. You've been healing yourself. You've been learning to say no. You've been learning how to stand up for yourself, have boundaries, all of the stuff that you've been learning and healing yourself with, of the, the things that you were battling with inside before, the things that were causing chaos and conflict within relationships. So you got yourself to a place where you are hopefully ready to have a healthy relationship with somebody but that right person has to come in the one that you can have a healthy relationship with which means not only do have they done the work on themselves that same work it means that they're also very compatible with you to have the same kind of moral code that that same um we need to just be on the same path right as that person so that makes it very specific and that what might be what makes you feel like you've narrowed it down too much What's coming in in the near future is the moon, the unknown, the void. It's like, I don't know. It's like it's all being kept from me. The universe isn't giving me a path or so it seems. Perhaps you are actually on the path though and perhaps you're just not believing that you're on the path. I believe with these cards that you are actually on the path to it. But I don't think that you're believing that. that there, if there's any question in this reading, it's there's a little bit of unsurety about you. Is that even a word, unsurety? I don't think it is, but there you go, I said it, and you know what I mean. What else is this reading about? It's about your anxiety, about your hopes and your wishes. You're not sure it's going to happen. What else is it about? Nice of emotions, two of emotions, lovers, wow. All the cards of love and romance. 
damn, you want it, don't you? You're ready for this. Two of emotions, your true match. Knight of emotions, romance, lovers, speaks for itself. Wow, you guys, you're ready for it. You're focused on it. This is what you're trying to manifest at the moment. The love of your life kind of thing. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> what, what are your fears? Seven of inspiration and the ace of materials. The seven of inspiration is about protecting yourself. The ace of materials is a big offer. I know exactly what this is. A big offer, the ace of materials. That is love bombing. Right. Ah, now afraid of love bombing. This is the tricky thing, right? Because when the right person comes in, you'll know it and you'll know it really fast. But that also happens with love bombing, doesn't it? If you think about it, your true match, there's going to be a real fast, especially if you're in your intuition, a real fast connection with them, right? And it's probably, you feel like you'll want to move it really fast too. You won't because you've learned not to do that, right? But there's so many similarities with love bombing. And that's why when we get love bombed, when someone is like too much too soon and it's, it's actually a, uh, a manipulation on their part because they don't believe that they can have the true love that they want in a normal kind of a way. So it's a manipulation, not a malicious, generally not a malicious, a knowing manipulation, but it's a manipulation nonetheless. So the love bomb, the love bomb, and it just appears like it's exactly the same. Now, for some of you, it's connected with this. You had a love bombing situation and it went wrong with this person here. But there could be a likeness about that person, um, a compatibility about that you had with that person that makes them a better match than you've ever experienced before. So, yeah, you're afraid that you won't know how to protect yourself from love bombing or be able to decipher whether it's love bombing or the real deal. There will be a heightened sense of feeling with the re real deal, that's the thing, and it feels exactly like love bombing. There is a dilemma, right? What are your hopes? Oh, you just have to take it slowly, right, to find out if it isn't. Because love bombers, they're not going to keep it up forever. They will get into the devaluing phase soon enough. Soon enough. You just have to make sure that you haven't isolated yourself, been isolated. There are signs. There are signs. Hopes are three of emotions. Good times. Good times with friends. So you're hoping like for it to be... Um, a, a natural process, you know, meeting someone in a natural kind of way out, doing things when, when you're with your friends, when you're having a good time, that kind of thing. Or coming in through friends of friends and, and just a natural organic process is what you're hoping for here. So let's get your outcome cards out. I'll be revealing the first outcome card in this reading. But the rest of them, because I'm going to get a progression out for the full story, I'm going to be revealing in the um, deeper dive read, in that extended reading. Um, I'm also going to go into that past relationship and see why, because there's still something going on there. Still something going on. So we need to get into that so that you can release that properly. Or figure out what that relationship, the lesson was in there so you can let it go. It's the same thing really, hey? doesn't feel like that's the one, it doesn't feel like that past one is the one for you to me, but let's get into it in the reading. What next? Mm -hmm. And then what? And then what? Oh, one more please. One more. One more, please. The outcome. There we go. Ah. Okay. 
Right, so you have seven outcome cards here because I couldn't leave it hanging on that sixth card. <laughs> it just didn't complete the story properly enough for me. Eight of Voices is the first card out. The Eight of Voices is feeling like you're trapped. So there's something going on in your mind. It's a mind trap. It's a belief trap that we've got going on here. It's, it's when your story holds you in a place of not being able to move forward and not get what it is that you want. And you need to uncover what that story is. I'm picking up that it's doubt in you guys is doubt that you are on the right path that's why the anxiety about your wishes what could get you into a place of fully believing that you're doing the right thing because you're on track you are on track i'm getting that clearly but you don't believe it i'm getting that clearly too you're not quite fully believing it so this is the trap that you're in there's beliefs you need to pick through your beliefs perhaps go into meditation with the focus of this relationship is coming and you know a positive focus that you are on track and all of that kind of thing and then go in meditation and see where your mind takes you because the mind takes us to the, the contradictions why it believes that that's not true that is going to uncover what's really behind this anxiety why you believe you can't have it why you believe you're trapped so you need to get into that first and then all of these if you want to find out what these are and you want all the rest of it too because i'm going to get cards out from these decks back here to give you guidance we'll get into this past relationship as well and find out what that was all about um and if you're interested in that then you i'll pop a link for it up there there's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below it's 20 australian dollars which is about 15 american dollars right now and it's an instant watch kind of a thing you do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong you won't receive it the email it might end up in your inbox but it might end up in your spam your junk or your promotions folder check those places in that email you'll see a link to the crystal the flower and the shell click on the flower oh it's got holes in it um, on a device that you can open with PDFs, open PDFs with. <laughs> in that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. The other things are, are, are coupon codes, by the way. You'll see a picture of a video. Click on that. If it doesn't take you right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment because that'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me as we'll get in that deeper dive too. We'll get you entered into the second draw. Um, so two chances to win. But if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive or even more, then I'll see you in there very shortly. If you chose the shell, then this one's for you, shells. Let's find out what's going on in your love life by way of full Celtic cross spread using the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Now, as usual, Shells is going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with this. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, I'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's get straight into your reading. What is this reading about? Wow. Strong start here. You've got the death. Death card is about death and rebirth. It's taking you back to like almost ground zero ready to start something new it doesn't feel like this, this is a very easy thing to me it's like when something goes wrong and everything falls it's not the tower but it feels like um having to kind of give up and let go and start again it's never too late to start again and it's good to have a beginner's mind so death and rebirth significant enders in your life which prepare the way for new beginnings if you're really going through it at the moment just know that this is taking you to good places i know it might be very hard to hear at the moment that but if you're in a place that you really don't want to be at the moment you you're on track you're on track and it might not feel like it so what's hindering you here the seven of cups the seven of cups is confusion about choices so you don't know how you choose and you don't know what to choose um you don't want to go through what you've just been through for sure you might i don't know i've just got this feeling like you guys you must have been through something because if, i feel like you might have been re really battle weary is what i'm feeling with this one so you'll be wanting to protect yourself right from going through the same kind of thing again but seven of cups says but i don't know how i chose it in the first place so i don't know how to protect myself i'm sure of your decisions that you're making how do things appear on the surface of it then 
Look what's going on. Strength, you're stronger than you think. They say that, right? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But whoa, we go through it. Especially matters of the heart. So you're having to be strong. You're having to be strong. It will be for a reason. You know, often we have to heal ourselves before we can get into a really good relationship. We have to heal ourselves and get ourselves to a place of stability. And that, the path to healing ourselves can be fraught with all kinds of lessons to show us what's really going on. And it's hard. It is really hard. And it's not just about the healing. It's about finding empowerment and all of that. And it is about finding our inner strength and knowing that we're strong. And you go through all of that until eventually you get to a place where you just really happy and you're really happy in yourself and by yourself that's when it's time to get into a healthy relationship when you don't even need one anymore when you don't kind of not even wanting one anymore unless it's the very best you you're on the path to that you're on a good path here and it, unfortunately it's the only path that there is there's no fast track there's no way of manifesting it without going through all of that unfortunately what's really behind that you are becoming a very strong person in fact you are a very strong person sometimes we don't want to act act like the strong person that we are sometimes we would much rather prefer to be a soft pliable just loving person because it doesn't feel good confrontation being strong all of that it doesn't feel good at first but actually when you when you get when you're okay with it when you accept it you can start enjoying it. it is a good thing you can have confrontation without it being aggress aggressive or anything like that once you get used to it and it does actually make you feel good it doesn't make you feel good at first we want to avoid it at first strength what's really behind that is the five of pentacles yeah the five of pentacles is about being alone and it's about not going to your comfort zones it's about walking past that church because you know where you're headed the church is a comfort zone it's not a place to stay there you could get temporary relief, but you don't want that, you see. You're in a significant ending point in your life. You're going to have a whole new beginning in your life. So you need to go through this and not avoid it. As hard as it may be, and you've got to go through this alone as well, Five of Pentacles. It's the dark night of the soul kind of um, a reading this. It's the hard stuff that we've got to go through if we want to get through the other side of it and then... To where we really want to go there are no shortcuts no matter what anyone tells you you can't like just do a vision board and not go through this stuff you can't you can't do it we've got to address ourselves and the stuff that's going on in ourselves and heal ourselves and find that empowerment and all of that stuff Whew, stick around because that's what the channel's all about healing ourselves being that in every moment till we don't need to be anymore recent past yikes ten of swords you had a painful ending. I was feeling it right at the start of this reading. I'm feeling it from your energy. A painful ending. Ouch. Page of Swords. But look, it's given you a new perspective. Ten of Swords to the Page of Swords. It gives you a new perspective. You've learned from it. You've got a higher vantage point now. The Page of Swords can start things in you now. But you're not ground zero. Because you'll never lose what you've learned in those experiences, you see. You can apply that. and you, So you're not at ground zero and uh, repeat. It's not a groundhog day. You're not going to do exactly the same thing, right? You've got a higher perspective on it now. So, yes, we've learned. But, ouch, it hurt. Ouch, it hurt. Mm. And what's coming in in your near future? Near future energies for our lovely shells, please. I'm just hearing for some of you, it's not just about relationship this too. There could be other things in your life falling apart too. I'm sorry if you're going through that. You've got the Hierophant coming up. Spiritual lessons, you will learn. You'll piece it together why you've been through that and what it is that you're learning from that. Just take your time and be very gentle with yourself. You know that feeling I was getting, you don't want to be conf confrontational, you don't want to be empowered and all of that kind of thing. You'd much rather be soft. Well, be soft with yourself. I'm getting from your energy kind of hard with yourself, but you want to be soft with other people. Do it the other way around, just for a while. Do it the other way around. Be really soft with yourself and allow yourself to be harder with other people. Spiritual lessons here. Something in the way that you're being is not conducive to 
what you're really looking for in relationships. So it's about significant endings and new beginnings in your life. What else is this reading about? It feels very heavy. I feel like you guys are in a heavy place. I'm sorry to hear that. Really, it's hard, but we do all go through it. And I don't know, I don't know whether that's like um, solace hearing that. It's these two. Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. All right. So Eight of Pentacles is about putting work in so that we can reap rewards, rewards from it. So we can get back from the energy that we're putting into things, our investments made. So the Eight of Pentacles, what is that with regards to this reading? Well, it's about the work that you're putting into yourself, that inner work. You want it to pay off, right? And it always does. The inner work that we do, it always does pay off eventually. We get some kind of a level up and we get some kind of reward for doing this gnarly inner work. So it's about you gaining back from that, but it's out with the Five of Cups there. The Five of Cups is about lackful thinking. You see how she's got a branch there? There's flowers on the branch, but she's more focused on the flowers that have fallen off and floated away. This is someone that is looking to the past instead of being in the present. So she's lamenting the past, thinking too much on the past. Now, when we've been through hard shit, We've got to focus on the past a bit, right, in order to get the lessons from it. But we don't want to dwell there. She's dwelling there. She's not She's not bringing herself back to the present and go, oh, look, I've got two lovely flowers here. Let me enjoy those instead of, like, seeing what I've lost. So way too much focus on the past here. You can't change the past, but you can learn from it. When we're healing ourselves, we do need to address the past. We need to look back to get gain clarity on it, but we don't want to stay there. We don't want to be too focused on that. Too focused on that has you in victimhood thinking. And you'll never get anything good from victimhood thinking. From victimhood thinking, that's the energy that you're putting into it. You're going to get similar energy back. You're going to be victimized again. You don't want to do that. So like I said, you're in a hard place at the moment, but the only way is through it. Is to feel it, be gentle with yourself and go through it rather than try and avoid it. Or be despondent like, um, be in lackful energy try and bring yourself into the present even though pain is where the present is when you bring yourself into the present that's when it hurts right we'd rather go into the past look back at the past and become a victim and go but they did it to me you know because that feels slightly better than feeling the pain in the moment but if we feel the pain in the moment it can dissipate and what I mean by that is so the other day I um, uh, I went to the gym and my friends there all kind of blanked me it was weird I don't think they're meant to do it I think it was just the way that I took it because they're fine really but that that day I was I just felt blank like everyone was ignoring me like there was there was some kind of conspiracy with them or whatever and it affected me and because I live pretty much like a hermit <laughs> doing my own thing my my social time is my gym time right and and so I came home and I was so disappointed because we're in rainy season as well. So I can't get out and about the rest of the time because it's only dry in the mornings. It's going to start raining again soon. And and so I was, re I was feeling really sad. I was feeling really sad because that was my my social time for for two two days. And it left me feeling sad because I was kind of blank by them. And so I wasn't feeling good. I came home and instead of like thinking on that, I just brought myself into the present and like, I don't feel very good. That's made me sad. I wanted my social time to lift me, not to bring me down like this. I feel bad. So I felt it. I didn't avoid that feeling in the present. I'm like, I'm sad. What shall I do? I know I'll pamper myself. And so I got a face mask and I, and I did a hair treatment and I put myself under the LED lights and I, I just pampered myself and I just did things really nicely. I was soft with myself is what I was because I wasn't feeling good and it dissipated so fast, so fast. And then I started, it got me into the flow and, and then I was feeling really good. And then these that was it and then good stuff started showing up for me i got the reward straight away and that's what the eight of pentacles is so if you can bring yourself into the present out of that victimhood 
thinking. Yeah, then I, I had um, some calls and I'm like, no, I'm sad today. I'm not answering the phone. And then the guy who was calling me turned up on my doorstep anyway. He was a delivery guy uh, that works at the bakery down the road. And I know him anyway. And, and he said, you got a parcel here from, um, I don't know where it was from. And you need to sign for it. You need to pay some like stuff on it, you know, to, get, to ship it into this country. Tax, whatever you call that stuff. And so I had to pay that. And I'm like, oh, what is it? What is it? I couldn't remember, like, ordering something. And then I saw who it was from. I'm like, oh, my God, it's something that I was having made. Months ago, I ordered it, um, a custom-made handbag, and it's gorgeous. And, and then I was so excited when I realized what it was. And I opened it up, and I was just so excited. And it was so nice. And, yeah, I'd, I'd like, already turned around. I'd already turned my day around by pampering myself before and that just got me into the flow even more and then something else like something else great happened too and i'm just like this is really good so that's what i mean it's like if you stay in the moment if you bring yourself into the moment and and feel what you're feeling and just go this is where i'm at this is what i'm feeling i'm just going to be really nice to myself and nurture myself in this place almost in, indulge it's not indulging that feeling to wind yourself up and get more of that that's what the looking back in the past does but if you if you're like, okay, this is how I'm feeling. I'm going to do everything within my power to feel better. Not ignore the feeling, but by feeling the feeling and then going, okay, what's going to make me feel better when I'm feeling like this? Treating myself. So there you go. Got to nurture yourself through this. Love yourself through it. What are your fears? Your fears are eight of wands. Direct communication. You're afraid of what's coming, what's going to be said. That, that is like, I'm afraid of a phone call, afraid of what someone's going to tell me, afraid of news. You've got massive endings at the moment. So if we're talking like losing your job or, or you know, really big changes like that, you're afraid of the letters are arriving and that, that, that information coming through. Wow, <laughs> that's full on. Um, what are your hopes? Page of Cups to start again for like a positive, um, positive future page of cups is the fantasy it's like it's got to be it's got to be my time now i've got to be like be better things ahead for me onwards and upwards kind of thing yeah live in the dream live in the fantasy page of cups that's what you're hoping for for a big turnaround i hope you get it well let's get your outcome cards out so i'm going to be revealing the first outcome card which is right there Oh, in this reading, but the rest of the cards, because I'm going to get a progression out so that we get the full story of your outcome, see where you're headed. Um, the rest of them I'm going to be revealing in the deeper dive read. I'll also be getting cards out from these decks back here to give you further guidance and whatever else we want to get into in this reading based on what shows up. Oh, oh, you've got good stuff coming. Just know that you've got good stuff coming, even if you don't come to that deep dive with me. You need to know that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So you've got six outcome cards there. I was just wondering whether to leave it there or carry on picking cards out. If I need more cards, I'll pick them out in the deep dive. First card out is this one. It's the Queen of Swords. Now, Queen of Swords, it's similar to this page of swords like learning see how he's got a higher vantage point there but the page isn't as good as a queen queen of swords she's floating on a balloon she's got a really higher perspective now she sees clearly the queen of swords is also the one that makes that has clear boundaries now i feel like you might need to have boundaries with yourself and stop yourself it's so enticing this this lack of focus to to go poor me i'm going to focus on that these wrong things but you've got a painful ending here and you've got this major transition in your life happening to get your new beginning you need to stop yourself from indulging in that victimhood thoughts and the thought of thoughts of what you went through and get yourself in the moment now how do i feel right how is this making me feel everything that i'm going through now how is it making me feel you tell me, is it making you sad? Is it making you overwhelmed, fearful? Whatever it's making you feel, be in the moment now and name those feelings and get clarity about it and then have some boundaries with yourself. 
Boundaries with yourself could look something like, you know, I'm going to give myself five minutes, like set, an, set a timer on your phone. I'm going to give myself five minutes to indulge these feelings and then I'm going to stop and I get into the present and I'm going to make myself feel better by nurturing myself and loving myself and doing the things that make me feel better. Being gentle with yourself, kind with yourself, pampering yourself, whatever it is, like pampering work for me. It, it made me withdraw, that, that thing that I went through, it made me feel sad, it was sadness. And it made me feel withdrawn and I didn't want to be around people and I'm like much happier by myself. It had me like feeling like that and it was sadness. And so I indulged that and it's like, well, I'm going to do all the nicest things that I do when I'm here by myself. I'm not going to work, like all the stuff that I enjoy too, but I'm like, no, I want to do the real soft things and it's like give myself a warm cuddle kind of thing and, you know, have a shower after them and, and then put my PJs on and then that declares when I've got the PJs on that it's a day to myself and I'm not going out and I'm not going to do other things and I'm just going to do all the really nice things at home and perhaps watch a movie. You know, it's that, that kind of stuff. Make myself a green tea with ginger in it and just really enjoy it. Bring yourself into the moment. Have rules for yourself and boundaries for yourself, says the Queen of Swords. And then the rest of these, if you want to find out what these are, then you might want to get that deeper dive for even more. See where you're headed. Um, if you do, if you want that and all of the guidance that goes with it too, um, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you won't receive it. Now the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam junk promotions folder. Check those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower and the shell. Click on your spiky shell. That might be how you're feeling at the moment, spiky like that. Click on the spiky shell um, and on a device that you can open PDFs with. And in that PDF amongst... Uh, uh, yeah, in that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. When you click on that video, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That will get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in that deeper dive as well, I'll get you into the second draw too. So two chances from this to win. But if you're not coming with me to the deeper dive, then good luck with all of this. If you are coming with me to the deeper dive, then I'll see you in there very shortly.